What's up, man? This is Loso. I'm from Tampa, Florida, and I am the future of battle rap. Yo, my name is Timmy, and I represent ATL and Workshop and Rap Grid, and this is my breakdown of Real Deal versus Award. Yo, this battle was crazy, like it was mad close, like the whole way through and shit. So it started off on Award, and some of his best lines, in my opinion, were once they dropped the flyer, I knew the fans would be interested. So who do y'all think gonna get a W? A R D. You ain't gotta respond, the answer was in the question. <laughs> that shit was fire. I can see the proof across your face like you couldn't afford the school pictures. That is an accurate line. Proof is over your face, uh, you know, before you buy the, the pictures and shit. Cause this is a wrap and you getting the raw deal like half price sushi. Crowd went nuts over that shit. Like they were going crazy. All right, so some of my favorite real deal joints were but haven't you been telling league owners to book you? You sound like a mix between Saga and Real Deal. These are facts. Yup, fact, you sinning right now. Bruh. Bruh. It wasn't even necessary. Like, that wasn't even the bar necessary. That shit was hilarious, bro. Like, that was crazy. That might have been my favorite moment. Maybe, maybe, in the battle. That shit was nuts. I fathered your sound. You just stole my style and then you wholly watered it down. Bruh. I seen him in Pittsburgh. Facts. He said, real, you one of my favorites. The angles that you take are slick. What's that proverb? You can catch one for him or you can teach a man a way to fish? Ironic. He found a bigger pond, now it's the new fish you try to bait me with. Gannick was like, yo, real, these young kids is dying to see you. Well, I'm John Cena with that make a wish. And his name is John Cena! <laughs> So, if I had to call a winner for round one, I'd probably edge it to real deal. It was mad close, though. Like, super duper close. All right, now round two, in my opinion, went a little bit differently, but still fire on, on both ends. Super fire. So, some of the notable lines in this round uh, from Award were, by the way, am, am I saying your name correctly, bro? Like, I want to say a word or a, uh, a wa war, ward. Ward? Ooh, maybe it's a ward. A ward. You know what? I don't know. I've never seen you in Pittsburgh ever. It's almost like you have to reach for the facts. I understand you brought up foul language and that's your signature move, but why would I even need the cursive? Y'all don't even teach that in class. That shit was slick as a rebuttal. So I don't know if that was freestyle or like, you know, premeditated for this particular battle, but that shit was fine. You're not violent. You're a gym teacher. Stop acting like in your circle, you lift up an apparel shoot in the building. You get kids in a big circle and you lift up a parachute in the building. Bro, that's hilarious. I remember as a kid doing, doing the little for nostalgic reasons, that bar was crazy. Yo, and the, the coffee word association shit that, that you were doing, people call it scheming this word association, but anyway, the coffee word association shit that you were doing, that shit was crazy, bro. It was way too much for me to like, you know, write down and memorize and stuff, but just know that that whole joint was dope, and it was dope the way you did it. You did it a little differently than, than other people do to slow it downs or whatever. A lot of points for creativity, a lot of points for uh, having your own style and, and doing it. Alright, so for real deal, probably my favorite bars from him were they in their little rap groups like, oh my god, real deal, have you checked the predictions? I'm not surprised. Battle rap has become wrestling. Why would they not give the edge to a Christian? Bro, wrestling bars, fire. Boy wilding out before the third like the terrible twos. I identify with that because I got a little niece and she's two and she's going nuts, bro. It's crazy. If it's wedding vows, bro, let me let you down slow. I met her once. She tried to take the meat out like a veggie cow zone. Come on, bruh. That shit was fire. All right, if I had to call round two, I'd probably have to give it to Award because I think he had a little more momentum. I think bar for bar, I think he might have got round two. In my opinion, of course. I'm sure you guys in the comments may disagree because my beard is green or bluish green or turquoise or whatever color you guys see on your RGB screen. But round three was nuts. So here's some of my favorite lines from Awar. Actually, um, I, yet again, like the, the coffee situation, I, 
I'm not writing down the whole real estate thing. The whole word association shit with the, the real estate shit, that was crazy, bro. It was nuts. It was dope. I fuck with it. That was one of my favorite portions of your verse. You look like the type of rapper who shows up to events, stands outside, and sells your CDs from a cardboard box. Bro, that shit was hilarious. But hey, we've all been there, and some of us are still there, so keep grinding, homie. I'm right there. I will cardboard box sell the shit out of my shit, bruh. But it's still hilarious to talk about. You get up here and waste rounds with throwaways, man. Hold up. Like you some connoisseur. You waste rounds, man. Hold up. Like you some connoisseur. It wasn't exactly how he did it, but it was, you know. Those bars usually are weird to me. This one was kind of funny, so I give him some credit. All right, but anyway, so real deals bars I thought were crazy in the third round. He had some fire ass shit, bro. So these are some of them. A rapper's name could be Young Drug Dealing Murderer. And you'd be like, let me guess. You about to talk about drug dealing and murder. Bro, that was hilarious. A very, very accurate angle to take. We can get it shaken with the hands for nothing. Like a gentleman bet. This kind of clap for that bar, bro. I was just praying for one bar, like a side chick's pregnancy test. You a pussy. You act big, then turn to a buddy like Sherman Clump. This kind of clap for that one. Isn't that, isn't that like the Hercules clap? Right? I tell bitches to give me space, then explain it to them like a physics tutor. That shit was super fire. Now, some would say, yo, not direct at your opponent. That wasn't. But it was a fire ass line, so I don't give a fuck. That shit was dope. So, yeah, if, if I had to call it in the third, I would, in my opinion, I'd say it was a pretty clear win for Real Deal. And when you break it all down, I guess Real Deal got the win on this one, in my opinion, of course. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Say whether you agree with me, disagree with me, hate me because my beard is green or whatever the fuck. Also, like, share, subscribe, follow Rap Grid and literally every social media option ever. Follow Rap Grid on everything for all of your battle rap entertainment purposes. And if you'd like, follow me on my Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, all, all that shit. It's somewhere down here. You'll see all the information you need. Do that and holla shit. Bye.